Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just another day with me, Danny. Today's video, I am going to be doing a dollar store haul. And this isn't just any regular dollar store. This is the queen of dollar stores. That's right, I'm talking about Dollarama. I don't actually know if Dollarama is in any other country other than Canada. But you know, I live in Canada, so this is the go-to dollar store. Trust me, if you ever visit Canada, you need to go to a Dollarama because they got that for that cheap dollar dollar, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so the first thing that I got is a giant platter because, you know, your Danny girl loves to bake and I might be using this in a future video. So I don't know if this is the best quality of like a platter, but it was only $4 and it is pretty. It's got like some texture on the side and it's just like flat in the middle. I thought it'd be really cute to use in, or maybe just to put like some snacks on or, you know, some cookies. The next thing that I got was wax paper because if you bake, you know you can never have too much wax paper. And this one was only $1.50 for three meters. That's pretty decent, pretty decent. And to go with the wax paper, I actually also got some parchment paper. This one is by your girl Betty Crocker. Everyone loves Betty Crocker. Come on, she makes the best cake. This one was actually only $2. And somehow I got less meters, two meters. So I got less meters in the wax paper and I paid more for it. Parchment paper, more expensive than wax paper apparently. So the next thing that I got was this squeeze bottle and I didn't just get one yo I got two and I didn't just get two I actually got three but I'm kind of using one for what I bought them for so these were a dollar each which is like super cheap I don't know how well they'll last but I thought I would give it a go because I really wanted to start making homemade salad dressings again and then just fill them up in these and then I can keep them in the fridge and then just put it on some salad real quick Alright, so next up are these cute little flowers. These were $1.25 each, which is pretty cheap. Um, the green flowers actually look pretty real. Like, if you look close to them, like, you can see the fabric texture, but from, like, maybe, like, a couple feet away, like, they look pretty real. And then I also just got some lavender because I thought maybe I could put it in my room. I also have some flowers like way over here. I got those from Ikea. So those ones are actually better quality than these dollar store ones. Which I'm just realizing this one is missing a flower. Cool. But that's okay. It was only $1.25. And I still have four more. But yeah, these I'm actually, I might be using in a other video that I'm working on. I just thought they'd be really cute as just like a background accent. So this next one actually really excites me a lot because it's a basket and uh, I love organizing. I'm a neat freak. I have OCD. If anybody cares, you know, join the club, the OCD neat freaks, because, you know, we got a Gucci gang going on. This one was $3 for this basket and I bought other baskets from Dollarama before and they actually are like sturdy they don't break and they're really useful so actually the real purpose for why I bought this basket is to actually fill it with all my camera stuff just like somewhere to put my charger put the camera where I'm not using it I just needed like a place in my room that I could keep everything together and I thought this would be a really cute, cool idea. Okay, so next up I got three things that go together. It's just these things here. So as you can tell, these are St. Patrick's Day themed items. And the first one that I got is just like this string of green sparkly tinsel material. And all of these things I actually bought for a video that I'm working on as well. Same video that I'm using the flowers for. 
and so yeah I thought I could like use it in the background of the video or like decorate a table with it because I'm going to be doing a, a cool setup. If you guys want to check that out um, I'll be uploading it in the future. Yeah this was only two dollars and it's pretty long it's like wrapped up and I think I could probably reuse this like I'm not going to destroy it so I could always keep it for something else. And then the next thing that I got was a little bag of four leaf clovers. It's actually called four leaf clover confetti. That's what it's called. In video, and I thought I could just throw this on the table when I take pictures of my final creation. And then kind of the same idea for these. I think these are actually like things you're supposed to stick on the wall or like your front door for St. Patrick's Day, but I might actually be using as I might actually be using them as like a centerpiece and then when I'm finished with those I'll probably actually decorate my house with them because I like green and I like leprechauns and St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So the confetti was actually only two dollars and it's a big bag of confetti so I think that's a pretty good deal. Thank you Dollarama. And then the shamrock cutouts were only a dollar fifty. And I think you get one, two, three, four. You get five cutouts. So if anyone cares, I'm just looking at my receipt from when I purchased all this stuff at Dollarama. And the total came to $24.45. But that's because, you know, I may have also bought some chocolate that uh, I may have eaten so that won't be in the haul video today but I thought I would just let you guys know so we can all reminisce about what kind of chocolate I got from the dollar store and ate. Alright guys so this is the end of my little Dollarama haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I know I would because I'm nosy. I like to know about people's lives. That's why I watch a lot of YouTube videos. So before I forget, make sure you hit the subscribe button and or the like button if you want to see more from me in the future. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.